breathtaking satellite imagery here of Hurricane Barrel in all its glory when it was a Category 5 storm. Lots of lightning on this as well. Now we are looking at long range models and some of them are hinting at potentially the remnants from the storm could be making its way all the way back home into parts of Ontario and even Quebec. Now we're looking at this track as we head into the next five to seven days, impacting the Yucatan Peninsula, Northeast Mexico and even Southern Texas. As it moves into Texas, it'll be downgrading to a low pressure system, but we are going to be tracking this potentially making its way across the Great Lakes Basin. Now we have this heat dome, which is going to be steering it in a northeast direction, but we need that interaction of the trough and the upper levels of our atmosphere to allow this storm to move into parts of Ontario and Quebec. Once again, it will be the remnants of the system, which is all of that moisture associated with it. And we potentially could be looking at this as models are starting to align quite a bit of heavy moisture into parts of Ontario, Quebec, even at Atlantic Canada. Now all the ingredients need to come together. We need the moisture. We need the jet stream to align as well. Now we are going to continue to update you on this unfolding story as we head into the long range forecast.